This one's a poem entitled Attachment and Repression. She holds on to what she thinks she's supposed to, holds back everything she feels. Plastic knife culture, harsh judgment hails from narrowest vantage. Those whom envy are those whom blame. Guilt and blame are perfect magnets. High horse stepping stones throw away. Lies built on ire stilts. Humans create societal paradigms no humans can meet. It's a game everyone loses. Simultaneously pretend they're the happiest generation who ever walked the earth. Someone showed her a picture of a starving African child and told her she's lucky. Ever since then, she's been repressing unfulfilled desires and discontent and guilt and shame. That's not gratitude, silly human person. Telling herself she's lucky in order to repress her feelings, she's lying to herself, and the person who showed her that picture of that starving kid was also lying to himself. Of course we should have compassion for those in need, but this doesn't invalidate our suffering. The whole thing's a lie. The humans of Earth are all steeping in a particular kind of sadness, palpable sickness which soaks in shallow pools of empiricism. They lie there in that warm puddle pondering the origin of life. It's the Tower of Babel all over again. Plastic knife culture thinks it'll find God and technology, like the oppressive sun which never sets, like an endless breath. Inhalation which never exhales, the masculine lie of holistic logic. Remember the runaway train, no one's at the wheel. An entire generation of humans building lies on top of lies. Nobody's asking why. Suffering is attachment and repression. They hold on to what they think they're supposed to, they hold back what they actually feel, and then they blame each other for holding back and holding on in different aspects in varying degrees. There's only one way, silly human person. Let go.